The population of homeless baby boomers is growing fast, and researchers predict it's only going to get worse. A study from the University of Pennsylvania finds more people 50 and older are on the streets. The executive director of the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House is noticing the trend and is asking for your help. On tonight's Ion Kettle and Brady Mallory introduces you to two baby boomers who didn't expect their lives to turn out this way. All over Sioux Falls, you may see any number of people who are homeless. Have you ever asked yourself, what happened and why? I'm unable to afford my medications. When 51-year-old Theda Hernandez moved here in the late 90s, she had two jobs. Eventually, she found herself out of work. Rent was too high, medications were too expensive, and finding assistance wasn't as easy as it seemed. She eventually found herself living on the streets. Rough. I mean, it's like, um, it's cold. There's been friends that I've lost. Hernandez's story is becoming more common for baby boomers over the age of 50. When you're living on a fixed income, whether you have disability or social security, there is no way to make more money. Bishop Dudley Hospitality House Executive Director Madeline Shields says she's seeing more guests here who are over 50 and homeless. As the trend increases, she says help doesn't seem to be keeping up because most services, like affordable housing programs, are geared toward children and families. That leaves boomers out in the cold. It's very concerning. Um, I, you know, we need more affordable housing. We need more um, income-based housing. Shield says it then becomes a matter of having to choose between rent, medications, or food. And it's not like rent is ever going to go down. And prescription drugs are never going to be cheaper. They get behind on their bills. One thing leads to another, and eventually, they're homeless. These are real problems for people that they just cannot get out of. Marianne Heeb agrees and says when she's looked for a job, she instead found discrimination. We're stereotyped because of our age, which it also makes it hard to find even a part-time job because the younger generation doesn't think that people above 50 are worth anything anymore. As the baby boomer generation has aged, the number of homeless people 62 and older jumped 68.5 percent in the United States from 2007 to 2017. That's according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Heeb says it's easy to get frustrated. We're out in the cold irregardless of how we try. It's intimidating. When you are homeless, you don't really know where to start. Shield says there is a way for you to help. The Bishop Dudley Hospitality House needs more volunteers to work with baby boomers here on things like filling out online applications and just connecting to the right resources. For individuals, there is just not that um, much support out there and you know if we could get some volunteers to help mentor these people help them make those phone calls um, to find out you know what what's available out there it's not a problem we'll solve overnight but shields hopes to see more assistance for the over 50 crowd dealing with homelessness as for Hernandez she says she's lost many things but hope isn't one of them I go to my churches and I pray you know, give to the higher power to see, reach out to see, maybe there's an answer, and sure enough, there's hope out there. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. Now, the larger cities see the biggest increases in homeless baby boomers. Researchers predict that the number of homeless seniors in New York City will more than double from 2,600 to 6,300 by 2030. In Boston, the figure is projected to jump from 570 to over 1,500 over the next decade. If you want to volunteer at the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House, we have listed the information under this story at kelloland.com.